Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Welcome to the Blender interface. If this is the first time you've opened Blender, you should be seeing something very similar to this. This first window that opens in front of the interface is called Quick Setup. This window offers some shortcut options and themes related to Blender's interface and usability. This window appears the first time we open Blender, and after we click this Next button, it no longer appears. But if you happen to want to change any of these settings, all of these options can also be found in Blender Preferences window. For this crash course, we will leave all these settings with the default options, and we will click Next. When we do that, we will come across the splash screen, which is this window that will open every time you open Blender. Here, we will be able to choose to open Blender with some specific settings and access some links. But if we just want to start working, we just have to click anywhere outside this window and it will close. And then we will see the full interface. Blender's interface is completely customizable and can be configured with numerous components. In this course, we will focus only on the components of the standard interface, which is this one we are seeing. As we can see, the interface is divided into some large blocks by these divisions. Each of these divisions is called an area and the content that exists within each area is called Editor. The standard Blender interface comes with four main editors. The 3D view, which is where we view and interact with the objects in the scene. The timeline, which is a timeline similar to the progress bar of any video software. The outliner, which is basically an organized list of all objects in the scene, and the Properties Editor, which allow us to view and edit various properties of scene elements that are divided into categories through this system of tabs. In addition to these editors, we still find here at the top some common software menus, such as File, Edit, and help, and this system of tabs that show a few different interface configurations geared toward specific steps of the work process, such as texture paint and animation. But as it's also possible to perform all these steps of the scene creation process using just the initial interface configuration, in this crash course, we will only use the Layout tab, which is the default interface configuration of Blender. And with that, we conclude this brief presentation of the Blender interface. In the next lesson, we will see how to navigate the three-dimensional environment. So, thank you for watching, and I see you next lesson!